There's nothing quite like grilling on the weekend, and with great weather ahead, it looks promising for this weekend to help us get a head start on this. Is Chef Richard Chamberlain from Chamberlain Steak and Chop House. Everybody knows your name and where you're from. He's sharing his recipe for mouthwatering mojo beef kebabs. Hi. Hello. Welcome. It's great to be here. It smells so so good in here. Thank you so it much. It smells amazing. You know, those uh, Cuban flavors are amazing flavors. They're very simple. Uh, fresh citrus juices, garlic, cumin, things like that. But it really spices up your grill. Oh, it smells so good that I I see it drew my co-host into the picture here. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can smell it from all the way over there. And I thought, you know, this is a moment I should be a part of, Richard. I've <laughs> I think it, especially the tasting part you should That's be exactly a part right. of. That's exactly right. Definitely. <laughs> so, so tell us what you did here. You took sure. some skewers. And uh, this is out of my uh, Healthy Beef Cookbook, and it, it's it's about is, that, is this it right here? Yes, uh, it's about 132 recipes just on on cooking lean, healthy beef. Wow! This, this happens to be one of the leanest cuts in the store, that the uh, top sirloin. Okay. You can also use top round and top other top sort of uh, uh, hind type. Uh, cuts, but very, very lean, very healthy, and inexpensive. You made so me nervous when you put your fingers there, like you were going to burn yourself. <laughs> always, we always check the heat I know, chefs that get way. Tough hands. So you don't have to that. pay more for the lean beef. Right, the lean beef is less expensive, but you have to be more careful about how you cook it. Because it has less fat, it's going to have less moisture. Ah. And so those are the tricks I'm going to teach you today. Perfect. I love it. it. Can't wait. So normally you do this on a grill. You're doing it in a pan In a pan, that's right. Yeah. Okay. But you can do it either way. If you're in a hurry, just sure. throw it in a pan. Right. So uh, the first key is the marinade. That's what kind of what you smell in the uh, in the studio here. So fresh lime juice. In it. And again, fresh lime juice is a lot better than, uh, you know, like a previously frozen or something. Just like when the margarita. You just make it yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fresh orange juice. Now, again, okay. uh, fresh chopped garlic. This is going to really, really uh, kick it up with some garlic taste. And then cumin is that other wonderful smell that you're smelling right now. Now, another way to add a lot of flavor to your cooking is fresh herbs. Uh -huh. uh, these are right out of my garden this morning. Oh, good for and, you. And uh, fresh oregano, mm. uh, a beautiful taste with beef, goes really well. And then Italian parsley, uh, kind of a neutral taste, but adds a little extra spice. Yeah. So all really good. And then just salt and pepper and a little extra virgin olive oil. And that just gives it a little extra, a little extra flavor and a little lubrication for the grill. Now, uh, for the beef, it's very simple. We take little cubes of beef, uh, and put them on a little And you can buy it cubed skewer. already, right? That's right, yeah, yeah, you can buy it cubed or you can cube it yourself. You know, have I'll your- buy it cubed, I, I was gonna say. Uh, this is, uh, I like you know, keeping my fingers, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a good place to have your kids help too. That's true, They yes. like to do stuff like this. So really it's just a piece of lime which helps to Base the beef as it's cooking and, and it marinated. Huh? Keeps it moist, uh, and then onion, and you just kind of repeat that. Uh, now this goes into the marinade. Now one of the tricks is to take some of the marinade out before you put the beef in, because we're going to use this to kind of put on top at the end. Oh, smart. For but some you don't want to put flavor. the raw meat in there. Right, you don't okay, want to put great. the raw meat in there. Oh, that's great. So literally, just let it marinate for 30 or 45 minutes. Okay. So if you get home and you're in a hurry, you can make this real fast. Yeah, real simple. So these go into a uh, just either a medium pan or a medium grill, mm -hmm. and what you're looking for is just a little nice caramelization on the oh, outside. Oh, look at that! Mm. Even that, the lime gets that it. Looks good. That little bit of browning on the beef really, really adds a lot. Now the other thing that's really key with lean beef is not to overcook it. You don't want to overcook any beef, but particularly lean beef because because it has less moisture in it anyway, mm -hmm. then if you overcook it, it gets kind of dry. So how, so you know just by that caramelization, because I'm always scared with beef, with chicken, with meat, mm -hmm. that I haven't cooked it enough. enough. Mm -hmm. Well, and here's how you tell. Look at you, uh, you're getting ahead of yourself there. Oh, I <laughs> like that. Help it. Just yeah. jump right in, I love that. <laughs> well, and you know, chefs like to just sort of touch the beef and see, you know, once it gets to kind of a, uh, Can I touch it? Sure, absolutely, okay. yeah, it's not that hot. So it feels kind of bouncy. So when it's bouncy, it's rare. Okay. As it firms up, if you feel this one right here, see how that's a little firmer? The one I ate oh, was yeah, nice and firm. Yes. So <laughs> that's, that's cooked to a nice little medium there. Great. Yeah. So, okay, um, so just feel it and now, see. Yeah, and then also what's nice to add is just some little skewers of these beautiful sweet cherry tomatoes. They are like candy, aren't they? They They're are. They're so good. And again, the key is just cook them till they kind of split mm -hmm. and char a little bit on the outside, and it just... Uh, you know, kind of releases that Pretty. flavor, takes the acid off of them a little bit. Oh, fantastic. Uh, really beautiful. And then again, with that marinade that we put to the side, this is this is my favorite part. These it's are amazing, by the way. Yes. Adding, mm -hmm. adding a little fresh marinade. Amazing. I'm going to taste the one that I touched. 
Absolutely, yeah. That marinade <laughs> is one. delicious. Yeah, it mm -hmm. smells fantastic. It's so mm -hmm. good. Again, those uh, citrus juices, cumin, garlic, those really combine and so simple. I'm glad because I have so cumin simple. in my little spice mm -hmm. shell for whatever. I've never known what to do with it. So Nobody now I uses know. it. I have it's, a use for it. It goes in <laughs> salsa usually, and that's about it. So This is great. Uh, and do you have another? What's another favorite recipe in the cookbook? You know, some great favorites. Uh, there's an Italian. If you like pot roast, then you kind of get stuck on I that love same pot old roast. pot roast. Mm -hmm. This is an Italian beef pot roast. Oh, I bet that's fantastic. Yes. And so you add olives and capers and the tomatoes and all that. And so it really gives you a great twist and, Yum. you know, kind of gets your family a little jazzed up. I was going to say, something sounds like new. something the whole and Everything is lean uh, in the book. Uh, everything, you know, the, all the ground beef recipes from burgers. Um, it teaches you how to use 95% lean ground beef. Great. Uh, and, and actually have moisture in it. You know how it tends to get real dry when it's 95% sure. mm -hmm. lean? We actually teach, uh, put some tricks in here on, on how to keep it real moist and juicy. So. I have to tell you, I'm going to make this. This is fantastic. It's so, so delicious. Yeah. Thank you so much. And the marinade, you're right. The marinade makes it. I mean, it tastes simple. really fresh, really fantastic. Thank you so, so much for being here with us My today. Pleasure. That was wonderful. My pleasure. For a unique Dallas dining experience at Chamberlain Steak and Chop House, or to reserve a private dining room for your next gathering, call 972-934-2467.